All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this exercise 15 from the 20 days of 2D. For those uh, people who want to relearn stuff, it's right here where it is under week eight, all right? So you're gonna have this document. Here's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and use the SNP tool to snip that out. And when that is SNP, you can go to your AutoCAD and paste it in there, boom. All right, we're gonna work on this problem from here. Just take a look. So we got a center here, a center there. Those centers uh, are 210 units apart. And we got 40, we got 180, we got 20, 20, 75, 40. So we got the circle here with radius of 40, another circle here with radius of 20. Um, and we can see the offset here that is 20 units apart. So that way we can do offset 20 or we can draw the same center uh, using the same center we draw another circle that is 40 instead right so 20 plus 20 so 40. down here you got 40 after you've done that you can also offset 40 units to get another circle or you can draw a new circle that is uh, 80 in radius after that we can do um, this arc right here so uh, we're going to do tangent tangent we're going to make sure that this arc um, will be tangent to the other two circles same thing down here with radius of 75, tangent to this one, tangent to that one. All right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things first. Uh, notice all of our measurement, it does not have anything at the end there that show that is like a decimal number. Maybe I'll do that later. All right. So let's let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's start with circle. In here, I'm going to start going in. And right now, you are in radius, right? Uh, if you read on my screen, you will see it. it says specify radius of circle. All right. So that means you are in radius or you can see the orange dotted line there that indicate radius. If you ever come up and you see this right now where it said uh, diameter, then that means you are in diameter, meaning you have to put in 80. All right. Or if you don't want that, you can go back and fix it. All right. So again, circle down here, radius. So we're going to put in 40. Enter. All right, notice that it's way bigger than our pictures, right? That's fine. What we're going to do now, the first thing we're going to do is just move this down here, take a picture, move our picture over here a little bit. But we need to make it bigger as well so we can see the dimension. All right, and then <coughs> let's, uh, let's move this away from our actual drawing. All right, so that is the 40, okay? And then from this one, we're going to take it, just going to draw uh, 210. That way, escape, All right? And from that other end of the 210, we're gonna just going to go ahead and draw a circle that is 20. From here, we can use the offset. We're going to offset this uh, to be whatever the unit is. In our case, the unit is 40. So we're going to offset that 40. And then we we'll click on the circle. Boom, it's offset, right? Now, up here, I'm not going to do the offset. I'm just going to go ahead and do circle now. Um, so there are more than one way of doing it. All right. So those are the dimensions you can do. You can offset it or you can draw a new circle. Make sure you do the math to figure out the dimension. All right. So when we have that done, um, you can also check your stuff. So go up here where it said quick. You can see that this is 210 apart. That is 20. That's 40. This is 40. And that is 80. All right. So you have your measurement that you double check a little bit. All right. Um, this line right here is a construction line. It's not part of the drawing. So we're going to go ahead and turn this into a construction line by going down here. And you can see this at by layer, by plot, continuous. We're going to click on others. Um, we're looking for a construction line. It's not here. We're going to click load. And then in the future, if anything you're looking for, it's right in here so you can find one. So in our case, you don't have to go any further. Just click on this very first one. All right, click that, click OK, boom. Now I click on the line again. Now that showing up there, that it is. OK, when that is done, we're going to move on to do our circles. We're going to do the tangent tangent radius, because if you can see, we have a radius of 75 and we have another radius of 180. We're going to use that option, tangent tangent radius, or for short, you can see it, TTR. All right, so tangent, tangent, radius. I'm going to go ahead and select this circle down here. I'm going to select that circle there. I'm going to put in the diameter. I'm sorry, the radius of 75. I got that, right? 
that is the part that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do the same thing up top. But this time, instead of doing, but instead of going and select that, I'm going to just select circle and I can do TTR. It's the same way of doing things. I'm going to, uh, let me make a mistake here first. Right? I'm going to click on here and then I'll click on here. And then I'll put in uh, 180. And you see that is not what you wanted. You wanted the shape to be open down, not up, right? So when you see that problem, all you have to do is redo this a bit. Again, circle, TTR, enter. Click it somewhere down here and then somewhere down here. And put in uh, 180. Boom. There you go. All we have left to do is trim. So we're going to trim this section, trim that section. Uh, let me see what else we need to trim. Uh, we need to trim that section and that section. Okay. And also this little section here, your problem is done. All you have to do now is to go in here, put in your dimension. So let's click on under dimension. You will see that annotation. Click that. Standard, we're going to change this a bit because if you are doing it right now, if you take the dimension out right now, for example, you won't even see the number. You have to zoom in to see it, right? And also you will see that you see that you have a dot zero, 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 zero. There's four zero at the end there. But if we are looking at our, um, if we're looking at our drawing, there is no decimal place after your unit. So we're going to go ahead and change a couple of things at the same time. So first, let me get rid of this. All right, annotation standards right there. The second one, dimensions. We're going to go ahead and modify this. First things first, we're going to go ahead and change the unit. So usually when you come up, it's going to be in lines. Go to primary units right here. Change it to zero because we have nothing after. You can see that there's one, right? If I do a dot zero, you will see it now it become 1.0. So that's what you're going to go ahead and change. Number one, click OK. Modify it again. Uh, this time we're going to go to uh, the text. Our number is so small earlier. Right now, let's take a look here. Our radius uh, of this circle here is 20. And uh, that's the smallest one. What number would be um, good for our dimension? Let, let's say we can do three, for example. All right, close that. And then if we take dimension now to see if, if that number is big enough. And you can see the number is bigger just not big enough. So we're going to go down here, change it again. All right. So usually I, I would like to do about five or seven. I'm going to try seven in this case. All right. Click OK. And you can see the number is getting bigger, All right? which is good. And then from there, you can go ahead and do your other, other dimensions. All right. Now, one thing is you can see that was um, diameter measurements showing up. So if you take that and this uh, diameter and you want to change it to radius, all you have to go is go down here where it said radius, and then now voila, you have radius of 20. Um, the dimension of this is 210. The dimension of that is 180. This one was 75 in radius. Um, this one was 40 in radius. And then the day distance from this one, the offset from there to there is 40. So that means this one is 80. We can keep that as 80. Um, all right, so that, um, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do this problem. Enjoy, and hopefully uh, you can come up with the same pictures.